going apartment hunting. <laughs> Cook with me tonight. <laughs> Are you excited? Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Another day, another vlog. We are starting off today's vlog going apartment hunting. My apartment lease isn't even up yet, but I just wanna go look at apartments, you know? I don't know why, but I literally just like to look at my dream apartments that are super out of my budget for funsies. And the apartments I'm looking at, they are gorgeous. Let's go. I got my coffee in my little Mulan cup. Isn't she so cute? So I'm going to a Pilates class this morning. It's actually a new one that I've never tried before. It's a beginner class for this type of reformer. I've never used this specific type of reformer before. Also, this is how you can tell that I actually really love Pilates now. I went ahead and bought some Pilates socks. Do you guys see this? It has like the little grippies on the bottom. <laughs> Let's go. Pilates. Now I'm headed to go meet my friend Isa. We're gonna get some bagels. Damn, do you guys see this line? These bagels better be so good. I can't believe you got me flowers. So guys, you already know what it is when I get my hair up, my headphones on, a little energy drink. We're doing a little Sunday reset routine. It's basically when I just deep clean my entire apartment so that at the start of the week, I feel so much more refreshed, everything's all organized, and I always say a clean space is a clear mind. I personally love watching other people clean their places because it gives me motivation. If you're watching this, we can have a little reset routine together. Grab your coffee, your tea, your energy drink, and let's get to cleaning. <laughs> Hello you guys, so it is officially September, which means it is officially pumpkin spice 
season. Every single time fall comes around, I am on the pumpkin wave, okay? I'm drinking pumpkin coffee. I love pumpkin sweets. Like anything pumpkin related, I'm in there, okay? I was diagnosed with PCOS this past year, and so I've been a lot more mindful about not drinking super sweet, overly sugary coffee, because a lot of those pumpkin coffees that taste so good, it has a lot of sugar. But you guys know, I don't like to restrict myself, okay? If I like pumpkin, I'm gonna drink pumpkin. We're just gonna make her a little bit healthier. I'm gonna show you guys my healthy pumpkin spice coffee recipe. Eating healthy does not mean you need to restrict yourself or not enjoy your life, okay? It's all about being mindful and fueling your body with what makes you feel good. So first things first, I use this almond milk from Almond Milk. It's organic and it's pumpkin spice flavored. I got this from Whole Foods. I put like a little bit of this. And yeah, this milk tastes so good. I could literally drink it alone. If you love pumpkin flavored stuff, you will love this. Also doesn't have any gums, fillers. All the ingredients are super clean and it doesn't really have that much sugar. Then I like to sweeten it with like a little bit of honey. And then cinnamon, sprinkle some of that in there. And then we mix her up. Oh my gosh. It just smells like fall. And then I go ahead and brew my coffee on top of this like pumpkin foam. Oop, I'm running very low on coffee. <laughs> That's when you know I drink a ton of coffee. And then for finishing touches, I like to add a little bit more pumpkin milk and sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon on top. Voila, we got our healthy alternative for a pumpkin spice latte. By the way, you can add more honey or you can add stevia if you want. I just personally don't like my coffee super sweet, so this is like perfect for me. Cheers. <sighs> Tastes like fall. But yeah, anyway, let's do a little chit chat, catch up with each other, have a little yapping session. By the way that I'm obsessing over pumpkin coffee, you might think that I love fall and I love cold season. <laughs> No, it's actually the opposite. The only thing I really love about the weather getting colder is pumpkin spice. Literally everything else that comes with colder weather, I don't like it. <laughs> I grew up around here my whole life, but I feel like in another life, I was living in somewhere tropical where it's summer all year round. I'm just wearing a bikini in my shorts, walking outside, having hot girl walks on the beach. I'm fully a winter baby. Most birthdays, it's like a snowstorm outside. And I don't know if it's just me, but like whenever it starts to get colder, I get anxious <laughs> and i get kind of sad i think i struggle with like seasonal depression like genuinely because every winter like clockwork i just get really down last time i got my blood tested i was pretty low in vitamin d that makes sense in the winter you're barely getting much sun the sun goes down here at like 4 p.m it's kind of depressing <laughs> i hate having to be bundled up in like 50 layers but yeah this year i decided to change my mindset and get excited i get to see the leaves changing and instead of being like oh it's gonna be winter like oh it's gonna be depressing and just being down about it negative nancy about it i'm gonna turn it around and be like yes winter i'm probably gonna be spending a lot more time indoors but it's gonna be time for me to really lock in put in the work stay cuddled up with my cats watch some christmas movies it doesn't have to be something that i dread i'm so blessed to live in a place where the seasons change and i could see like evolution <laughs> you know, I feel like the seasons changing kind of symbolize you yourself changing when everything is always the same You kind of start to feel just like you're going through the motions. You're not feeling that much growth You know when they say New York City really builds you okay, like she humbles you living here makes you so much stronger It is so true these like East Coast winters it it builds you different comment down below your guys favorite season Like I want to know what your guys favorite season is mine is personally summer through and through like not even a debate <laughs> Your girl just finished writing my daily journal entry in my day by day journal. I wanna start by being honest and vulnerable with you guys. You guys know we keep it real on this channel, okay? This past week, my hormonal acne was actually getting really bad. I know you can't tell right now. But here's some pictures of it this past week when it's been getting pretty bad. Like the last thing I wanted to do when I woke up was do something nice for myself today, like journaling. I pushed myself to do it, literally just took five minutes. I genuinely feel so much better. I woke up this morning, the first thing I did, which I shouldn't do, I was looking in the mirror, looking if my skin 
everything got better, which it didn't. <laughs> Obviously, if you start your morning in a negative mindset, the rest of your day is gonna feel like not great, which is why I just decided to journal my feelings about it and I already feel so much better. This past week was fashion week. There was a bunch of exciting events I was actually invited to for the first time, okay? I'm usually not invited to these things. I was really looking forward to it. I was really excited and when my skin got bad like this, I just, it just mentally broke me. I was dealing with my PCOS symptoms nonstop. Through hard work, through diet, through exercise, through learning so much about how to heal myself, my symptoms were finally starting to get better. And then just this last week, I felt the symptoms worsening. I skipped every single event I was supposed to go to. I barely went outside. I barely filmed for you guys. I was barely talking to you guys. I brought it here right on this couch and felt bad for myself. Barely saw people, was procrastinating all my responsibilities. Cause I know I always preach like, be confident, put yourself out there, like push through. But I also have my weekdays, you know? And I actually opened up about it in my community, the Day by Day Club. This is a free community I created for all of us girlies who just wanna talk, give each other advice, help each other, uplift each other, all of us who are on our self-improvement journey. I always felt alone on my journey, so I felt like this community would be perfect for us. It's free, if you wanna join, it's in my description box. It's so crazy because I launched it literally a few days ago and thousands of you guys are already in it. So I'm so happy about that. Those of you who are in the community, you guys know we have been sharing a lot and this morning since I was dealing with my hormonal acne and I didn't feel great about it I was like there's definitely someone in this community that I could share this with that will feel less lonely if I share this I posted this a few hours ago hi guys just wanted to be transparent and share a few photos of how my skin has been lately because of my recent flare-up I felt so alone but I know there's at least one of you in this community that deal with the same thing as me and that I can help so those of you who watch my videos probably know already but I was diagnosed with PCOS this year and have been dealing with symptoms like constant uncomfortable bloating, hormonal acne all over my face, my hair falling out in clumps, and chronic fatigue. After six straight months of this, I finally started to see improvement in my symptoms, then recently it started worsening. I felt so defeated and frustrated, I barely went outside for a whole week, I just rotted in bed and felt bad for myself. I finally picked myself up two days ago, started working out, going outside, and being kinder to myself. Here's your reminder that it's okay to have bad days and feel bad. It's about how you come back, build yourself up, and use those hardships as strength. And then I posted the photos of my acne. Look at all these comments already from girls just uplifting me, saying that they're so proud of me, and just being so sweet. Ugh, I'm gonna get emotional. This is like exactly why I created this community because I, it was for you guys, but I genuinely needed it too. When I was going through all my symptoms this year, I felt really alone, but I realized that talking about it and having people like relate to me helps me feel so much less alone. Like people in this community are so sweet. For example, Alina said, thank you for showing us the reality that helps me so much. And thank you so much for creating the safe space where we can talk about topics like this. Lisa said, thank you for being so transparent and supportive, Lena. It is completely fine to not feel good all the time. Time. you are so gorgeous I was nervous about launching this community because I wasn't sure how many people would actually be interested in it and I am so glad I made it for you guys it has been the most positive safe space not just for you guys but genuinely for me as you can tell y'all got me emotional even if you're not going through it and you just want vibes and you want a community that's gonna uplift you join this community you will not regret it I am NOT a crier like I really am NOT I think I'm just overwhelmed by your guys love your girl got a little emotional but don't worry about me like I know I'm gonna get through this I went through tougher things like health wise I tore my ACL and had to get ACL surgery and that takes a full year to recover I know I'm tough I know I'm gonna get through it I know future me is going to look back on this going through this health stuff and know that it was for a reason and that I'm stronger because of it and I'm gonna come out on the other side and be a stronger more confident woman because of it so yeah here's your sign if any of you guys are kind of going through it too I'm here for you and I feel you and we are gonna get through this together I love you guys Okay, so on today's episode of Cafe Chronicles, we are going to a new cafe. This one is called Butter Dose. They have a lot of really good reviews online, so I'm excited. They're known for their cream puffs. How cute. Can I get the matcha cream puff, please? The decor is so cute and they let you do work here so if you're ever in the east village stop by this place it's called butter dose i just had their their matcha cream puff it was so good guys i'm so tempted to get another one but let me not do that now i'm gonna sip my coffee get some work done
Welcome to another staying in slash cook with me tonight. My ideal night is staying in, cooking, and hanging out with you guys. On today's menu, we are actually making Korean food. My mom's gonna be so proud, Emma, if you're watching this. This one's for you. I'm gonna be making Dakdori Tang. It is, guys, chef's kiss. It tastes delicious. It's one of like my favorite Korean foods. I love spicy food, so if you like spicy food and you like chicken, like me, you will love her. Of course, as always, I'm gonna have the recipe linked in my description box. Let's get to cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I'm kind of hitting right now. Alma has competition. <laughs> like, what? This is too good. So today is a very exciting day. We are headed to the Hamptons. I've actually never been there. We booked an Airbnb for literally just a night because we just want to get out of the city and enjoy the last bits of summer, you know? I heard the beaches are nice, the food is good. Very bougie, picturesque. Also, isn't my outfit kind of giving Hamptons a little bit? We are going to be taking the cats with us. My boyfriend made this cat carrier for us the other day, so we're going to bring this. And it's their first trip with us, so I'm so excited. It's gonna be a very quick trip. We're only staying for a night. Are you excited? <laughs> okay, show the setup. We're here, we got the setup, we got the cats in here. Got a little bed. Portable litter box for them. This is what being a crazy cat woman looks like. Guys, so first stop from our road trip, we're here at this place called Ham Bar. Look at their food, first of all. They're known for all their seafood here. Mm. And he's an orange cat. Okay, I had one, an orange cat. Your girl's here on a Saturday night. The main reason why I wanted to stay home tonight was not because I didn't have plans. I actually had plans. <laughs> My hormonal acne is really acting up right now. Sometimes it's just hard for me to like go out sometimes and feel good about my skin. It's just one of those days. Like there's days where I have acne and it doesn't bother me and I could go out and no problem. But there's days like today where, you know, your girl's time of the month is coming. I'm feeling more emotional and I just didn't really want to see people. I didn't want to socialize. Because I was starting to not feel the best, I did what I probably shouldn't do, which is scroll for like hours on end. But I actually stopped myself and was like, wait, I forgot that I had created a list of things that I don't want to do, but I should be doing. This is it. On days where you're kind of bored and you don't know what to do instead of just doom scrolling you could pull up your list and boom there's a bunch of things that you should be doing that you've been procrastinating and it's just a good reminder to put your mind on something else do something else other than just lay on the couch and scroll like I just did <laughs> I think today we're gonna choose we're gonna choose organizing one of my closets my hallway closet well, she's not in the cutest condition I told myself I was gonna organize it for like the last three months and I just haven't yet instead of being bored here and just scrolling and scrolling I want to be productive with my time and I I know that I will feel so much better after I do that. Yeah, here's your sign to make your own list. Keep it in your notes app so that it's a good reminder for you. Okay guys, so here is said closet that we are going to clean. This is her condition right now. I mean, um, 
There's just like a bunch of stuff on the floor. My shoes are all a mess. There's a bunch of shoes in there that actually don't even fit me anymore that I should probably get rid of. Yeah, not really sure what's going on there. So let's get to cleaning and organizing her up. Taking a ride to John Adley. Don't you want 